Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in No Man's Sky Day 2. Uh, today we're going to try and find an easy derelict to do. Uh, we might have to look at a few derelicts before we find one that we like. Um, derelicts, it doesn't matter what the system that you find it in. Uh, abandoned, uncharted, wealthy, poor, it makes no difference on the derelict itself. Um, so we're not constrained to that. Uh, if you saw the last episode of day two, uh, you know that we uh, primed ourselves up for this uh, by getting uh, more slots and by getting uh, shields and life support. I've got four of those. Uh, did I pick up another movement? No, I, oh yeah, I did. I picked up that one. Uh, which is, or two, the which is right there. I've gotten a few slots. Uh, I've gotten a few shields. Uh, I haven't charged the shields, however. And rather than running around and trying to find charging boxes for the shields, which can be found in space stations uh, and on the ground in planets, you can also build them. Um, rather than do that, I have some meat. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to consume some of this meat. And uh, I don't know how many it takes. Just one, really? Yeah, just one piece of meat. Health restored. If you look in the upper uh, left corner there, uh, you can see that my shields are now charged. Uh, one of the things that I do want to do is drop a bunch of stuff off on the freighter. And uh, we haven't done the salvage frigate modules yet, so I don't have the matter beam uh, for my freighter, which means I need to board my freighter uh, in order to get rid of stuff. It's pretty nice. Oh, and uh, that too. Signal trace established, voice content distorted. That is Dreams of the Deep. It kicked off because of the number of warps that I've done. Um, I just got the milestone uh, for warping when I entered the system. Uh, space exploration, uh, or the last system rather, uh, 41. The 40th was the seventh milestone. The 41st is now Dreams of the Deep. And that may came up, come up at a different time for you depending on uh, how much, if any, of the Artemis mission or Atlas missions you've done. That may hasten it. There's no reason to go upstairs, but there's also no reason to just dump everything into uh, container zero. Although I imagine some of it will go in there. I call container zero my junk drawer. Here it is right here. It's the first container that you use, and so it's likely going to be the junk drawer. That actually needs to go on the freighter. Uh, I don't need that right now. So I've got some uh, magnetic resonator. Uh, I've got some anomaly detectors, silicone powder. Um, actually, I think I'll put that with the ferrite. A portable refiner. I don't even need one anymore at all. And a bunch of stuff on the ship. It actually goes to the freighter. There's some pugnium. Oh, I had nine antimatter. That's hilarious. I wonder how many... Uh, yeah. Let's see if that brought up anything that needs to go in here. Where'd the rest of them go? Is that all of them? That's weird. All right, I think this is actually container two, but you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, so let's get rid of stuff like this and ferrite and uh, activated copper. Uh, magnetized ferrite, extra chromatic metal. There's the salvage data. Usually when I start getting rid of stuff, that's how I find it. 
and carbon. I think I actually put carbon in the other one. So tritium and dihydrogen are what you need for freighter fuel. And so I keep that on the freighter. Uh, oops. We'll put some more there. And I pick up tritium constantly. Uh, oops. Here we go. Drop a little bit more ferrite in there. And that. And meat. And I think... Yeah, I don't need to carry that. We need to get a nutrient processor so I can put stuff like facium and creature pellets away. All right, I always keep nav data on me. That's for sale. That I need to increase. And that's plenty of room for picking up stuff on a derelict. Uh, if I'm able to find a derelict today uh, that I like, uh, then I only have one more receiver until we go to the anomaly. I just got lost on my freighter. <laughs> uh, Shippo. There we go. Uh, next time, um, we're going to do uh, the salvage frigate modules. Uh, so if you are concerned about how to do that, then, uh, you know, come check it out. I have some pointers for grabbing those. I think that's a paradise planet over there. Yep. probably going to have to resolve that uh, signal uh, because I don't think that I can turn it off. Uh, let's put it on base computer archives. Uh, maybe. I don't know how long that'll last. Uh, so we're looking for... Um, we're looking for a derelict that has as few rooms as possible and no bugs. We might run it into uh, automated uh, drones. Uh, the less, the better. Uh, there are derelicts that have no bugs and no drones. And that would be like the ultimate, a small derelict with no drones and no bugs. But I came back to the space station to get rid of this Gek relic uh, and to establish a save. So we'll just go up here. There we go. And sell the Gek relic. All right. Now I've already bought a receiver today. Uh, so uh, that was 5 million units. I think the next one is like 10. So I'm not gonna buy a second one in the same day. Uh, you cannot get a free one um, on board the anomaly until you use the first one. So, yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to shut that off. So every time I go into space, that's going to come on. And I forgot to resave it anyway. So we will do that. Thanks for the transmission co coordinates. It's on the Paradise Planet, maybe. <laughs> maybe that might be fun to check out. A lot of uh, newer players want to jump into the derelicts right away. Um, they're cold. They are brutally, unbelievably 
uh, death defyingly freezing cold. And uh, so you want to be cautious of that. <laughs> I have a thermal protection shield uh, and ion batteries. And that's how I'm gonna protect myself. There we go. There's our first derelict. Let's see if this is gonna be a good one. They're also really dark. So if you have auto light turned off like I do, you're gonna have to manually turn it on every time. Uh, your position is not saved on a derelict. Position or progress, it doesn't save your game at all. And as always, grab the repair kits. They're in this box. Oh, there's some ferrite, in case I run out of bullets. Severe incident. So I'm not here for the story. I'm here for the cargo slots. I've been running into a lot of these that want the hazard and gravity turned on first. Uh, there we go. All right, let's see what our first one's gonna look like. All right, so no landing bay. Look, these work as half pillars too, Lava. I wonder if they work as well with the piece that we have. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's a helmet on the ground. That's not a good sign. I cannot believe this. Our first derelict is gonna be the one. Oh my God. What luck I had. <laughs> That's crazy. Good grief. What in the world is in between us? There we go. Well, uh, our first derelict is the easy one. That is absolutely not so. So what if this had uh, bugs and drones? Then I would reload my game. That's why I did that extra save. And also it's only 11 rooms. <laughs> wow. I would reload my game and warp to the next system uh, until I found an easy derelict to do. absolutely nuts that I found one right away. I found some on another save today that was uh, absolutely brutal. So seven of 11 rooms is all you need to do in order to get uh, the cargo slot. There it is up there. But since it's the first time on this freighter, I'm actually gonna take the upgrade module and you can reload that as well um, and go for the bulkhead instead if you wanna do that. I don't worry about it too much. So this ship is a uh, A-class. That's gonna bring in a lot of nanites. It's not bad at all. All right, let's go back to the beginning and grab everything because, uh, wow. I'm so impressed. All right. I've already cleared uh, the green slimy things out, so I don't need to worry about that. I just wanna see what I can get from this derelict now that I'm here. So you can see the temperature is negative 37 Fahrenheit. Um, 
That is general options. Oops, that's Kelvin. Nobody understands Kelvin. There we go. Uh, which is uh, also negative 34C. I knew that. That's silly of me. Once it goes below zero, it's below zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm edumacated. <laughs> it's not a lot of loot boxes. That's a different kind of uh, derelict. But I have found small derelicts that had um, lots and lots of loot boxes. The lockers are generally what I'm more interested in because uh, the lockers are where you get the upgrade modules. There's our first um, part, the large storage unit. That's awesome. So far, they're only decorative. Thanks for the units. Uh, you can also collect all of the living slime. Uh, and turn that into nanites. But what we're getting uh, is far more valuable, tainted metal. And uh, let me just load this, and we'll put the tainted metal in. You can see it's one to two, so we're gonna get 96 nanites out of that, which is awesome. We also picked up a Hadel core somewhere. There's another part, heavy duty furniture. I open that? Yep. Uh, I am going to uh, give you guys the glyphs for this. Uh, being an A-class freighter means that uh, you don't really want to take the module unless uh, you're just looking for the nanites and nothing else. We're getting rich. Open says me. There we go. Yes, ma'am. These are kind of interfering with each other. I'm just using my quick menu to recharge. There's some nip nip. People ask me where you get that. You can also get it from Nexus Missions. Uh, but people ask me about that. Uh, I've had people ask me how I recharge stuff uh, so quickly, and it's by using the quick menu. On PC, it's super easy. Um, it's just X, and that brings up the menu. And then you tab over with Q, and back with E, and then it's just left mouse button. Uh, the problem comes in sometimes uh, the um, underwater module won't be available to charge. But these things right here uh, give you a slime of some kind, living slime in that case which can be um, put in the refiner and turned into nanites. It's a five-step process. It's super uh, expensive to do. If you think of uh, carbon as expensive. <laughs> Sounds like the ship has fallen apart. <laughs> oh, the chair, good grief. Give me that. <laughs> Is that a secure mainframe? And these heaters right here help. Uh, if you run out of um, charging stuff, uh, either sodium or dioxide or ion batteries, uh, you can stand next to the heater and run to the next one. But I would suggest you don't come to a derelict unprepared for the cold. Oh, good grief. There we go. 
scavenge. Calls it scavenging. I'm not a scavenger. I'm a pirate. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> we'll be pirates, all of us, when we come back next time uh, to get uh, salvage frigate modules. Did I see something? Yeah. It's hard because the the visual aspect of the helmet freezing um, is irritating, to say the very least. Cool. A golden rare item. We've gotten a ton of bullets out of this, too. I needn't have worried. So this is, ah, here's the third one, crew locker. This is the best derelict I've found in a really super long time. I don't mind the drones, but uh, the thing is, is that um, it uh, all of those creature kill missions I took aren't going to get done. <laughs> but it's better to be uh, prepared and not killed than killed because you weren't prepared. And, you know, I might be accused of over-preparing, uh, but um, I play permadeath. <laughs> the terminal is silent. The power is drained. There's nothing more to be gained here. Oh, that's right. I got that upgrade module. All right. Did I get everything except for the pink rooms? Yes, I did. And the only SRT, this is an SRT, short-range teleporter, the only SRT I turn on is the very last one. Because I don't want to get transported to the one in between. <laughs> Alright, we got a ton of loot. And the next step is to go to the space station and get rid of it. And what do we got in here? 96 nanites. Uh, we've got two Hadal cores. There's another 100. Uh, let's see. Uh, hypnotic eyes can be turned into, I think it's uh, slime. Is it slime or, uh, yeah, living slime, which of course can be turned into nanites. I just sell them. Uh, suspicious essay, 172,000. Uh, precious ooze, 586,000. Storm crystals are always welcome. All this decrypted user data is pretty worthless. Uh, we have another 177 tainted metal, which I'm going to run right now. And larval cores will also make nanites, or you can save them uh, for the little creatures that you can make uh, on your bases. You need that. That's an ingredient. So we will let that run. And off we go. To space station. There it is. Don't want to run into the ship. Uh, just yesterday, uh, one of my friends uh, posted on Twitter a uh, video of where he had run into the ship and had to warp out of it. And uh, I had just said something to you guys about uh, being careful to pull out of warp and pulse before you actually get to your freighter because that can happen. And all right. The other thing that you can do with the tainted metal is come up here to the scrap dealer and blind him with your uh, torch. Uh, purchase old scrap. Uh, you can see these things cost tainted metal, so you can get more repair kits. Boy, that's expensive when you can get them for free. Um, all of this stuff. There's also special items. The orange pustule is 500. Uh, detoxified slime. Um, these banners. Uh, this flesh helmet, which is disgusting, 3,200 tainted metal. 
you're going to need to do a lot of derelicts or a much bigger one. Uh, a warning decal, horrific decal, uh, hazard decal, or is that crazy? The wriggling companion. That's the one that you need um, these, uh, uh, these, um, where did it go? Did I cook it? I cooked it? I did. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's not the Hadel core, it's the other one to build. Now we need to get rid of this stuff. And uh, this guy looks like he wants to buy it from me. <laughs> We're going to hang on to some things. Unstable plasma is super cheap. You only need four of them in your entire life. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, larval cores, that's what it's called. We don't need living slime. We don't need 4,600 bullets, but I'm not going to separate it right now. We also got a salvage frigate module. That's awesome. Okay, relic, teleport coordinator, suspicious essay. We're going to keep storm crystals because very soon we're going to be able to make warp hypercores. That's a storm crystal and an antimatter. I don't need that or that. Nip nip, I have a friend that likes that stuff. I'll give it to him. <laughs> and that didn't clear much out, but we can put it on the ship for now. And the salvage frigate module. All right. And I forgot about, uh, oh boy, that's blinding. Uh, C15, C19. I forgot about this um, upgrade module that I picked up the first time we went through. It's a freighter upgrade module. You can use it. Um, this one is a combat unit. A class is perfectly fine. Uh, they do come in S class though. Uh, so we're going to sell that for 300 nanites. And the next thing I'm going to do, uh, very important, when you find the freighter that you want, it's uh, pretty important to drop a base computer because the... Um, teleport, uh, the space station, rather, is going to drop off your teleport list, I promise. And not much here to choose from. Uh, that's aggressive sentinels. So they're not, uh, let's go into first person. And that is it. We have three planets. We have four planets. Ah, I forgot about that one, didn't I? How soon we forget. Let's go over there. And uh, we will drop a base computer. And we're going to call it Easy Derelict. And if there's something special on this planet, that too. <laughs> I have the same feeling I had when uh, my first freighter was an S-Class on a permadeath save, permadeath journey. I was just like, what do I do? This is cool. It's not what I meant to show you, but it's pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> Mountainous. There's a rainbow. There's trees. I'm liking it more and more. Just looking for a place to land. I heard a bell. Maybe not. Had a little audio cut there. All right. 
This is as good a place as any. And the sun's going down. <laughs> it's getting late. Wow. One of five species. Oh, these things are cool. Isn't that always the way? Ah, there it is. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, back to discoveries, animals, upload to receive 250 nanites. Very, very awesome. All right, let's drop a base computer. Uh, all of the chromatic metal is on my freighter. <laughs> Rather than making this a super long, unnecessarily long episode, I'm just checking to see if I have any way to make any. Uh, no. Uh, I'm going to let you go here and give you the glyphs of this star system and this planet. Uh, right down there in the lower left corner, uh, face, sun, boat, dragonfly, sun, sun, parachute, fish, uh, triangle, fish, triangle, bird. And uh, if you dial those portaglyphs, uh, you will get that exact freighter, uh, although it may be a different color. <laughs> but it'll be an A-class freighter with uh, no bugs, no drones, uh, absolutely easy to just breeze right through it and uh, grab a little bit of tainted metal. And uh, uh, there's 354 nanites and um, a few blueprints and whatever else you'd like to do. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, we will see you next time. If you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. And uh, if you enjoy what you're seeing, please click the like button. Thank you so much and have a great day.